Welcome back to Range Anxiety TV. I'm your host, Martin Don. I'm the man with the tool in his hand. <laughs> and standing next to me is the laughing buffoon. It's me, Paul Housen. Hey, world. Marty. Babe. Babe. Um, here, where I belong. What's You're that? more comfortable here. Under the back of a Tesla. Well, out here in the workshop. Yeah, in the workshop. Yeah, well, I haven't seen your handiwork today. Well, I don't know about that, brother. <laughs> I um, didn't say I was good, oh, just like me. Oh, I got my hands dirty. I, thought, I must have fallen over. I'm not used to this. Could you hold that? It's February. I don't so know it's what to fair do. enough that you've done it <laughs> once this year. Um, we got such a good response from our last uh, episode that we did on Tesla Nerds. Um, you know, like me, um, yep. that we thought we'd show people don't have much of an understanding apart from the fact they're an EV and kids mine materials and well, that tasted good. I don't have much <laughs> idea of how they work. So it, there is a bit to it. When I po what did I post on Facebook the other day that I was doing a what? Oh, this you did an oil change of people sorts. People EVs don't have oil yeah. in them. Yeah, they, they do. Oil and coolant, I'm led Lots to believe. Lots of it, too. Lots of coolant. Well, and a fair bit of oil. Because if those batteries catch on fire... No, the coolant isn't there as a suppression. <laughs> the coolant oh, is not? there to regulate oh, okay. their temperature. Yeah, right. right. Same thing it does Same in your ice the... vehicle, boys and girls. Yeah. So, yeah. but when you look under the Tesla, what do you see? Not a great deal, Martin, to be Very honest flat, with you. isn't it? it? There's a pan from one end to the other. There's nothing to see there. It's just a, with like a furry carpet lining. It's a bit like your back. <laughs> yeah. Long and flat. <laughs> flat, <laughs> wide, yeah. with a few humps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, just for if, uh, our famous, wonderful, excellent videographer yep. is going to take some shots and show you what it looks like underneath a Model 3 performance, or in fact, any Tesla, they all look the same. You've got power unit and motor at the back, a motor at the front, and the big long flat thing in the middle is the battery. Hay planes, people. Hay planes as long as I can see. <laughs> Nothing. So what you're going to do, now you've got the tool in the hand, is you're going to take the covers off, uh, the two hairy covers, not the real back bit here, but that one and the front one, and we're going to go yeah. under the car, and we're going to go a little bit in depth and talk about uh, what we Disclaimer can do. Disclaimer first, I'm a diesel mechanic, sorry for whatever happens. And here we have, in his natural habitat, the Boganus Maximus, working on an EV. It's something that you don't hear too often, or see too often, thankfully, due to the scarcity of workers in Australia. But here he is, we're in our special hide, it's a uh, four-poster hoist underneath the Tesla Model performance. Oh, strip that one. Hey, isn't he a good thing? I'll rip this down and we should see your bottom of your front. I'm guessing. <laughs> you want to check my front here? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, here goes bits and pieces. Uh, uh, language. Yeah. And there we um, have it. Wow. That's not what I was expecting to see. What do you mean? What's in there? A possum? I have no idea what we're looking at here. It's a front power unit. It is. It is. It looks like a motor. <laughs> Only well, we'll go over it in depth in a minute. But Only suffice to say, uh, there's no chafing or leaking in this bad boy. She's a good one. That's it's, not oil. That's dry, mate. That's water. <laughs> no, it looks good, Martin. I'm very impressed. Okay, so we'll talk about it in one second. Let me get rid of the stones. <laughs> First thing you, you want to be aware of, Paul, come around and have a look, is don't mess with anything that's bright orange. Bright orange means? Danger? Yeah. They could have gone red. Danger. <laughs> <laughs> bright orange, I think, is a universal EV thing for high voltage. Yeah, I get that. Um, I get wiring. That. So, yeah, don't... don't so don't stay away that. from there. Yep, there, 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 and there. <laughs> yeah. But to drop the motor out, the front power unit, really, really easy. Yeah, I get Where it. do you disconnect the tail shaft? No tail shaft. No, no tail that was shaft. a trick question, people. Because um, that is the motor. Yeah. This is a front and rear drive yeah. vehicle. Yep. There are your drive shafts. This is just a front wheel drive vehicle we're looking at right here. Right at this point in time, yeah. it is. Yeah. And that front motor's good for 130. 30 kilowatts or so, 130, 140 kilowatt power unit right there. It weighs about, the power unit, about 70, 65 kilos. I don't mean to offend, but on paper it doesn't sound great. 130 kilowatts isn't huge. 130 or 140 just for the front wheels. Just for the front wheels. Yeah. That's so you do is. it again down the back. You're doing about 250 down at the back. Yeah. Now the business we're end. cooking with The gas. business end. Yeah. 
Oh, so, so we're looking at the little one. Yeah, we're looking at the little front drive unit here, and it's useful. This is what they call an induction motor. Works right. on induction, right? A bit like your cooktop at home. <laughs> Watch your right. head, Fred. You're about to... Yeah, oh, every mechanic's oh. worst nightmare. Donk into the hoist. Yeah, it's yeah, for you, you little guys. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Being sure it's good. So there you go. We've checked out the front unit. There's yep. the DTEC EV oil I filtration and cooling unit. Yeah. You see, it's a lot shorter than the one on the rear because I've got to clear the subframe in the Model 3 and Model Y, which is a big unit. Totally as you can makes see. sense. Yeah. There's and the from, from that point out, it's just a front wheel drive vehicle. Yeah. Just a normal, their normal drive shafts, normal brakes, normal it's electric power steering. Nothing special here. Regular car here, people. Well, let's go down the back and have a look what's going on down there. We're back at the rear of the Model 3 Performance. And what do you notice about this power unit or motor? It's a lot like me. It's much larger back here, Martin. And it's got a much bigger finned extension on it, it from, from DTEV, does. doesn't it? It does. But there's still one element that confuses mm -hmm. me a little what bit. What would that be? i got a few electric power tools home. Mm -hmm. Drill, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Rattle gun. I don't have oil cooling or lubrication. Right. Why have you got let that me, on an electric explain. motor? Because it has a final drive inside. It has a crown wheel and pinion, a differential, ah. right? And the differential requires lubrication. But yep. Tesla are thinking, right? Up there for thinking, down there for dancing with a yep. loner. Yep. And what they do is they don't just uh, lubricate the gears. They also pump through with this electric scavenge pump, the oil through the stator to cool it as well. And that oil is cooled not only by my um, DTEC EV Enduro oil cooler system <laughs> available from Unplugged Performance in Hawthorne, California. Nice. Um, it also has a, a refrigerant heat exchanger on the oil system as well. Right. So the air conditioning cools, controls okay. the oil temperature. Yep. Um, and that, oh, <laughs> and that refrigerant, oh, sorry, it's, sorry, it's, it's water. Water and refrigerant heat exchanger on it. And that water also goes back through the battery as well so this is like a porsche and a water-cooled porsche where they have this enormous cooling system yeah you know that does yep. everything yep. from the gearbox to the you know what i mean so yep. it is quite a tricky setup and this one here make brings up the power output to 400 odd kilowatts that's serious yeah yeah sorry about all the the up nose video you get mm. in there people but this is my first time under here and um it's quite oh, interesting it, isn't it, it is it's fairly impressive um uh, <laughs> it's still small there's a yeah. lot of power well that's the power in. unit basically there this here is the final drive so the power unit's smaller than the diff yeah <laughs> essentially <laughs> like the stators in there yeah so that's it, incredible it is isn't it so it, it is and again this is light you can pick this up a oh, big guy like you that's used to working on heavy diesel there stuff you yeah. can you can pick that power unit up yeah just but you could do it so that that's why I mean, it's, it's watch your head, Martin. Dong. See, I'm not used to working on cars, <laughs> no. boys and girls. No, I'm just no. no good at it. So, yeah, it, it is really, really interesting. And I'm glad you took the time to come and have a look underneath this because now you've got to put it back together. Yeah, yeah I'm glad we fixed we chipped all those rocks out. Yeah, on the floor. <laughs> Thanks for that. And thank you once more for watching Range Anxiety. <laughs>